warahmatullahi wabarakatuh kaum muslimin yang dihormati Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Alhamdulillah kita uh, diberikan anugerah oleh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaitu dengan uh, ekonomi umat yang bersyariah yaitu uh, mat 212 yang mana dengan adanya mat 212 ini ini adalah suatu tanda kebangkitan ekonomi syariat Islam mudah-mudahan diberkahkan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, saya Habib Alwi al Aptos dari Yayasan Pondok Pesantren al Mutana Cibeduk Jaya Bogor Saya menghimbau kepada seluruh kaum muslimin muslimat untuk belanja di Mat 212 Jangan sampai belanja di Mat-Mat non muslim selama masih ada Mat-Mat muslim Terima, terima kasih Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi I was born in Germany, but live most of my life in London, and I'm a Muslim. I decided to convert to Islam as a European woman, because the more I studied the faith, the more I realized it could give me the peace and meaning I'd always felt was missing from my life. I've written about the experience of my spiritual and intellectual awakening, my conversion, and how it is possible to be a European Muslim in my book, From MTV to Mecca. Music and the arts have always been a part of my life. I was a presenter on MTV Europe for many years, so I got to meet and interview some of the biggest names in rock and pop music. And it was music that first opened my heart for the culture and religion of Islam. I had a fabulous job at the time, interviewing rock stars for a living and presenting so many different shows for MTV and around Europe. But despite having this dream job, I'd always felt an emptiness inside and it was at a point of crisis in my life that I met Imran Khan. Imran had a very different perspective on life and he played me traditional Pakistani music, Kawali as it's known in Pakistan, it means wise utterance. The songs talk about love which turns into higher love. I was intrigued by this very different worldview that had God at its center and I began to read books on Islam. Imran invited me to visit his country and we traveled all over Pakistan. It was fascinating. I loved the warmth of the people, the beauty of the symbolic Islamic architecture, the nature, the jewelry and the fabrics. And I soon developed a taste for the delicious desi food. Every day I was meeting people whose lives were dominated by the love of God. They cared very little for material things or show business. It was a stark contrast to my life at the time and I began to question everything I knew. Where do I come from? Where am I going? What's the purpose of life? After studying for three years, I realized if I wanted to feel the beauty I was reading about and taste the spiritual fruits, there was only one way. Get down on my prayer mat and start practicing. This is the mosque where I finally converted to Islam. It was the end of one chapter in the book of my life and the beginning of another. At first, it was fraught with many challenges. I lost all my TV jobs because of the climate of intense Islamophobia at the time. This was in 1995, so way before 9-11. But I quickly realized how little the Western media knew about Islam. They speculated whether I would start presenting my youth show from behind the burqa or supported terrorism, which of course was ridiculous. But now that I'd found it, there was nothing that could deter me from my faith. It's an inner source of serenity, tranquility, and that emptiness that I'd felt before was now filled with meaning. I went to explore different parts of the Islamic world, from Turkey to Syria and Egypt to Morocco, and I met an array of wonderful teachers and marveled at the beauty of the Islamic architecture. It was an amazing journey of discovery that culminated in the journey of a lifetime for any Muslim the Hajj, the big pilgrimage to Mecca. Ever since I've been trying to delve deeper into the heart of Islam and look for ways and outlets to harmonize my faith with my identity. I'm a Muslim and a European living and working in Britain. I wrote my book as an inspiration to faith to show that there is another dimension to life. 
Islam, if taken seriously, can be a positive tool of transformation for the individual and the society. And not to forget, we have far more in common between other religions than we may think. We need to build on these ethical values that we share while respecting our differences and work together for the common good. Build bridges and actually walk across them.